Just what many of us were saying from the get-go, that if the U.S. didn't put pressure on Israel to stop its attacks on Gaza, this would spread throughout the region, and this is exactly what is happening now. I want to read a message from the former State Department official, Josh Paul, who resigned precisely because of U.S. policy. He says, this was all entirely preventable had President Biden taken advantage at any of the multiple opportunities over the past year to use the leverage he had to press Israel to cease its operations in Gaza. Had he done so, the Houthis would not be attacking shipping or firing missiles, missiles at Israel. Hezbollah would not have been firing missiles at Israel. And Iran today would not be firing missiles at Israel. Thousands of children would still be alive. Tens of thousands of limbs would not be lost, and Israel could be in the midst of negotiations with the Palestinians and the Arab world for a real, just, and lasting peace. Instead, we have chaos, death, and war. Contact the Biden administration and tell them, we don't want war with Iran, we don't want war with Lebanon, we need to stop supporting Israel.